Hello students, let's do a phase change problem. So uh, for this problem, we've got 150 gram piece of solid aluminum, and we want to figure out how much heat energy is required to vaporize it, to essentially turn it into a gas. So we have to go from a solid to a liquid to a gas. Now over here on the side, I've listed information that we need about aluminum. And then anytime we have a problem like this, if there's a phase change, then we use Q equals ML. If there's a temperature change, then we use Q equals MC, delta T, to find out how much energy is required. So what we can see, we'll start with a solid. And then what we do is we go from a solid to a liquid. So we go from a solid to a liquid. And we can see in this case here, because we're going from a solid to a liquid, we need our heat of fusion, which is 376 joules per gram. And we're starting at room temperature, right? So room temperature would be 21 degrees Celsius. And then in order to uh, melt, we have to go to 660 degrees uh, Celsius. So that means from here to here, we have a temperature change of 639 degrees Celsius. Then we need to take our liquid and change it to our gas, that's to vaporize. And so because we're vaporizing, we use our heat of vaporization, which is 11,370 joules per gram. And we know that our uh, melting point is 660, but our boiling point is quite a bit bigger, 2,470 degrees Celsius. So now we go from our 660 up to our 2470, we have another change in temperature of 1810 degrees Celsius. So anytime we have our LF, we're using this equation, and we have our LV, we're using this equation, and anytime we have our delta T, we use our temp change equation. And then ultimately we have to add all those heats together. So in order to melt, we use Q equals MLF for heat of fusion. So we'll put in Q equals 150 grams, and we've got our 376 joules per gram. And this gives us 56,400 joules. We also are changing our temperature, getting to our melting point. So we need Q equals MC delta T. So Q equals 150 grams, our specific heat capacity for uh, aluminum is listed up here, it's 0.89 joules per gram degree Celsius. And our change in temperature, the first one is 639 degrees Celsius. So we multiply all those together, uh, we get 85,000, it's actually 306.5. I'm just gonna round it up to 307 joules. Now we have another phase transition when we're boiling, so we use Q equals MLV this time. So again, 150 grams. And this time we're using our 11,370 joules per gram. We multiply those together and we get 1,705,500 joules. And then the last part, or second last part, Q equals MC delta T for our final temperature change, right? We change over 1800 degrees. So Q equals 150 grams. And our specific heat capacity again. And our change in temperature, 1810 degrees Celsius. We multiply all those together. This gives us 241,635 joules. So we've got four different calculations. To get the total amount of energy that's required, we have to add all those together. So when we combine all those, we get 
two million eighty eight thousand eight hundred forty two joules and you could leave it like that you could also put in a metric prefix uh, if we round up this would be two thousand eighty nine kilojoules or we could do one more metric prefix we could even make this 2.09 megajoules so any of those would be fine but there's the amount of energy that's required uh, to vaporize a 150 gram chunk of aluminum and bring it all the way from room temperature and vaporize the whole thing so uh, that's how we do these types of problems some are going to be um, maybe more complex than this a couple other temperature changes some will be a lot less Give them a try, and I will see you in class.